Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Coffee Talk. I know that I am late this morning, but to be honest with you, I was so tired. Besides the fact that I got up at 5 a.m. yesterday and flew to D.C., and then we worked all day. Then we uh, went out last night to celebrate the team, and um, I had a few drinks. Then I came back to the hotel and was talking to Michael and catching up with him because uh, it was Thursday, so it would have been our date night, so we were just FaceTiming, trying to catch up. And then I was doing some work, and then I literally passed out. Um, so I was so tired when I woke up. I was like, holy smokes, it's late. Um, and I don't even have any coffee. Like, this is Jamie on water and no coffee. Which is not nearly as good or as fun. Um, so, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well this morning. Um, last night when I was walking back to the hotel, I was walking with... Jen, one of the girls um, that works on the team with me for this project, and um, and um, a girl walked by and she goes, "Are you Jamie?" And I was like, "I am." And she was like, "Oh my God, I watch you on Coffee Talk. I love it." But and not that it not that it it doesn't happen because it does. It happens a lot that people recognize me, but. It just, I, I feel like I had my hair up and my head down and like, it was just surreal to me that she recognized me in such a quick space. It's probably my voice. I think my voice is what gives it away. But anyway, um, if she's watching this morning, it was so nice to meet you. It was really lovely to meet you. Um, where are their flower emojis? Are there flower emojis? I didn't see that. Um... Yeah, I don't have coffee yet. I'm going to get some, though. I promise. Believe me. My head will start to hurt if I don't. Um, so anyway, my hair's freaking falling out. Um, yeah, then they, yeah, they, Jamie and how funny was that? They ID'd me for drinks. I was like, okay, sugar. Um, oh, Barbara, you're at a diner? Oh, I love it. Um, I don't see the emojis. How come I can't see the purple heart, emo uh, purple flower emojis? Um, thankful emojis. Okay, well, I can't see it. I see hearts, but I don't see um, flowers. If there's a flower one, push it so I can see it. Okay, I'm just telling you I can't see it. I only see hearts. Um, so anyway, I wanted to talk to you about... Um, killing the messenger and what your take is on this okay I was always raised that I don't see flowers you guys keep saying flowers I don't see any maybe I really need coffee but I don't see any flowers I need to update I thought I did uh, alright anyway um, I was always raised that um, that you mind your business and you you don't tell anybody anything because at the end of the day, they, people will kill the messenger. So my girlfriends and I were talking um, the other night about. You don't have to send mad faces, guys. Don't send mad faces. That's lame. And I can see who's doing it. Don't don't send mad faces. So my girlfriend and my girlfriends and I were at dinner and we we're talking about affairs. What would happen if we caught each other's husbands in affairs? And I said uh, that I would not tell my friends that I would deal with the husbands, the husbands would definitely know that I knew, and the women they were having affairs with would definitely be dealt with. But I would not tell the wives because these girlfriends mean the world to me. And nine times out of 10, what happens is they end up killing the messenger. 
right? So my girlfriends were like, what, well, what does that mean? What do you mean killing the messenger? I said, well, what happens is most women, most women stay in affairs. They end up working it out. I would say eight out of 10 women stay. And what happens is the woman who told you about the affair becomes the constant reminder of what happened. And she eventually becomes the one that gets pushed out. The messenger always ends up being the bad guy, right? So my girlfriends were like, that's, that's a terrible way to be. Like, you know, you have to tell us. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just telling you that that is how I was raised, right? Might, just might be how I was raised, what was how I was raised. My mother always said to me, just mind your business and keep it moving because they always kill the messenger. Now I'm 40, so I'm open to a new way of doing things, right? Like if you, um, if you have something to teach me and I, you know, and I think that I can learn from that, I'm open, believe me when I tell you, I'm open to hearing it. So I really wanted to understand from them why they felt that my way was not the right way. And basically what they explained was, if you are my best friend, if you are my good friend, and you keep a secret like that from me, then I can't trust you. And I said, but my bigger fear would be that you may be thankful for what I'm telling you the day I tell it to you. But as the months go on, and as you're working on your marriage, I will become the person who saw it, who knew it, and who shattered your world. And I will eventually be the one that gets shut out. And they assured me that that was not the case. They assured me that at this age, they would want to know and they would not kill the messenger. Um, and so anyway, I went back to my mom and I was talking to her about it. And my mom, obviously being 70, right? And very um, set in her ways was like, uh, no, you don't say a word. You mind your business. You let the wives find out on their own or you tell them anonymously, but you do not know. You mind your business. They will eventually kill the messenger. And I was like, great, conflicting. My girlfriends are telling me that my mom's way, that our way is wrong. And my mom's like, nope, mm -mm, I don't care what they say. You just mind your business. So I was just curious. Right, Amanda Sarno saying, you'd have a very hard time doing things as couples ever again if they work it out. And I agree because who wants to hang out with the girl that opened her mouth? Nobody, right? So I'm just curious from you guys in this coffee talk, what you would do. Because I'm not saying that I wouldn't handle it. I'm saying I would handle it. If I caught, if I caught one of my friend's husbands cheating, like if I saw it with my own eyes, he would wish it was his wife that caught him and not me. Believe me, because it would go down. It would be so bad. It would be so bad if I caught them. I would humiliate them. And I would basically threaten them within an inch of their life. And it would not be a fun day for either one of them. So it's not like I would just let it go. Okay. So that's a good comment, Barbara. Some people are saying they'd be willing to lose a friendship to ensure that their friend doesn't live with that kind of humiliation. I totally, I, I, part of me agrees with that, but I also know that most women stay, which by the way, I personally take no issue with. I've stayed through all kinds of things. So I get it. Breaking up your family is not easy. And, and, and by the way, ending a marriage with a man that you still very much love is not easy. You could hate the sin and still love the sinner. 
I've been there. Remember, you can hate the sin and still love the sinner. So it is not always easy to just get divorced. Just get a divorce. Um, there are all different types of scenarios that could certainly play out here. Somebody just said, um, well, right, threatening them and... <laughs> Threatening them and confronting them isn't really minding my own business, is it? No, no, it's not. Uh, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. I don't know. It's a, it, it really is a rock and a hard place. Because at this age, friendships like ours are so meaningful. And would I kill the messenger? No, but I also have... I don't have um, the same hardline views on affairs that most people have. Um, I, Michael and I could work through an affair. And I think my friends know that. So, um, so no, I wouldn't kill the messenger. But I would just be afraid. I don't know. Anyway, um, a lot of women don't want to know. They don't want to know. So they want to kill the messenger. They, they, it, it's very interesting to think about. It's really at 40. I mean, I know I keep saying I'm 40, um, but it really does give me a lot to think about because the things that I thought were right in navigating friendships, I don't always know if they're right. They're my mom's way. You know, let's be honest. I, you know. It's my mom's way I learned from her, right? So I just operate the way she operated. And now I'm trying to figure out, are those ways always right? I don't know. I think I would have to be in the situation to really, really apply my theory. Like I've never been in this situation. I've never seen my friend's husband cheating. So I don't really know what I would do. I know what I think I would do, but I don't really, Carla, I love you too. I don't really know what I would do. So I, I, you know, I think I would have to be in the situation, but it does give me something to think about. Um, and I'd be interested, by the way, if you guys talk to your friends, the next time you guys are having like a girl's dinner or like drinks and you say like, if I saw your husband cheating, would you want to know? It'd be interesting to hear. I think everybody initially would be like, yes, of course I want to know. I want to know. But I don't know. I don't know that everybody wants to know. I have a few girlfriends that I think would not want to know. Um, I think what, what gets people is somebody just commented it, and I have to agree. A lot of times the reason they kill the messenger is because they feel embarrassed that they've stayed in the marriage and they don't want to be reminded of what happened and that makes me sad because I wouldn't want any of my friends to ever feel embarrassed about being you know I embarrass them enough just being their friend <laughs> anyway I am um, working in DC today I will be here uh, most of the day my flight I believe leaves at like 6 and then I'm gonna fly home uh, so I can be home tonight provided I don't get stuck in the airport. Gosh, please don't let that happen again. We have soccer first thing in the morning. Um, and I need to be there for soccer because it's big, big games for all my kids. Olivia and Max have huge games tomorrow and I really want to be there. Um, all right. Well, I love you guys so much today. It's Friday. Um, I hope that you guys have a beautiful, awesome, wonderful day. I love you and I'm going to share some stuff with you later. Oh, Wounded Warrior. Let me see. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for being here with me this morning. I love you so much. Have a great day. And I need coffee. Bad. <laughs>